Today is Tuesday. I got some coffee to motivate myself today. Um, and I also just water the plants. So my plants, my studio plants are looking very happy right now. Um, so I need to confess something, you guys. Mm, I know self-compassion is the answer, but I feel... I feel very silly because I, so I decided to invest on a new scanner. The scanner that I have right now is a scanner that I bought second or third hand, I think, um, from a friend. And I realized that the screen that I have is too small. I guess the, the, the origin story of why I want to change my scanner is because I realized that the paper, the size of the paper that I'm using for the graphic novel is too small. And every time I see other artists, obviously on Man Ben, the show that I keep recommending you guys to watch, I realized that most artists, more, um, uh, most of the comic book artists or like the manga artists that I have seen online, uh, when they work, they use like an A3 size of paper. This is usually like the scale is way bigger than what I've been using. And now I understand why, you guys. It's because you can achieve way more detail. And I've noticed that I was struggling a lot during the first couple of pages that I did for um, for my graphic novel, because I realized that there were so many details that I was struggling. Even when I was using the tiniest brush, I'm like, why is this keep happening to me? And so I decided to change the size of the paper, but that means that the scanner that I have right now, that I'm looking at you, scanner, I can't use it anymore. And so I am very tired, you guys. Um, I'm sure if I'm, I've mentioned this in the past that but there's a lot of things happening family-wise right now on the background um, in my life. And my attention span, my mental health, it's everywhere. And so I bought this new scanner thinking it was the one that I needed. And when I open it yesterday with you on camera, I'm like, oh no, this is the exact same size scanner wise 
that the previous one that I have. And so I had to return it right away. And I can't help but feel so silly, you guys. You know, like, how did I... You know when, like, that happens to you when you're so tired that you become very clumsy and you make, quote, the silliest mistakes, you forget things, you forget appointments... You water the plants on the day that you're not supposed to water the plants or you forget things, you forget, you, you become more forgetful and you're like, oh my God, why is this happening? It's because I'm emotionally and mentally exhausted. And so I am trying to, God, remind myself that self-compassion, it's a thing that you, you never have enough. And so I'm trying to be gentle with myself. I already return the scanner. Uh, and so I'm going to get a new one, uh, I think not now, but after my trip to Chile, because I'm going to Chile in March. Um, all of this related to family stuff, family matters, and my dad and his dementia and all of that. I'm mentioning all of this to you, you guys, not only to share what, what's the state of my studio life, but also to help myself accountable because I keep saying over and over again to people how important it is to feel self-compassion and you can never have enough self-compassion and it's in moments like this when I feel very tempted <clears throat> god my voice when I feel really tempted to be just like very mean to myself and like Fran like I can't believe like this again why is this happening come on Fran just like put attention into things, uh, focus, uh, but this is exactly the time where I need to be the most self-compassion, uh, the most self-compassionate to myself. And so, yeah, today I think I'm gonna keep trying and testing paper. I think I figure out the one that I want to use, and also I want to work on some still shots that are gonna be present on the uh, proposal that I'm going to submit to the publishers. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. But before you carry on, I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, I need to confess something to you guys, but ever since the Instagram algorithm changed forever, I've been wondering what is the best way to share my work. And I'm sure if you're an artist or an online creator, you know the struggle of wanting your work to be seen by all your followers and not just by a fraction of them. So I started thinking, should I have a newsletter? And also, where should I begin? <laughs> this is almost like the Skillshare gods listen to my prayers because you guys, I just found a class called Success on Substack, craft a subscription newsletter worth reading where Cody, the teacher, teaches you how to brainstorm creative directions, create your format, build templates, how to build a readership and design your own workflow. Skillshare is the biggest online learning community with thousands of classes ranging from film, illustration, design, painting, crafting, music, and so much more, all led by top tier industry professionals. So if you want to learn a new skill, improve your craft game, explore a new hobby, or in my case, get better at promoting your work, Skillshare is the place. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so, so much Skillshare for working with me once again.
Mm-hmm.